Okay, welcome everyone to uh, another uh, tips and tricks uh, for the week. Uh, this week, I want to talk about advanced body checking. What is advanced body checking is this. Uh, this example is, uh, is you're going to say it's pretty obvious, but uh, well, we've seen this. Maybe you've seen this, uh, this explanation. But as you can see here, there is a geometry error with this part. Okay, uh, you can clearly see there are some faces that are kind of uh, extruding from the body over here. But the tricky part is SolidWorks is not complaining right now. He's not giving me any errors. He's, he's, he thinks the part is actually good. Okay, but we know by just looking at the part that uh, this geometry is not valid. Okay, I just want to explain this regarding advanced body checking is technically speaking for SOLIDWORKS, there's two way of uh, checking for a valid geometry. There is a very fast way and there is a very slow way, but uh, the slow way is going to give you more uh, not saying more control over your geometry, but it's going to make you. It's going to make sure that the system can actually understand the part. Okay, so the advanced body checking is this one. I'm going to go into my system options. I'm going to go under the tab performance, and I'm going to click this verification on rebuild. So enable advanced body checking. As you can see now, it's already checked, okay? So I'm gonna click OK. And I'm just gonna rebuild this part to trigger the uh, advanced body checking. So as you can see, just by the rebuild, now SolidWorks is taking the, the second road, okay? The advanced body checking, the more complex body checking. And now we understand that, yes, there is an error with the part, okay? so. Uh, knowing this uh, and activating this uh, functionality, I can now actually redo my part, okay? Or, um, you know, there's a million road to go uh, to roam inside of SolidWorks, so I'm gonna take a different approach with my uh, drafting, with my conception, and uh, it's not gonna make the same error. And right now, I'm gonna give you another example of this with another part. Uh, maybe it's going to be a bit more uh, uh, easier for you guys to understand. So I'm going to take this part. <clears throat> I'm just going to go and verify that my advanced body checking is still on. Okay. So obviously uh, I know uh, I did it with you guys, but I want to make sure that you know exactly where it is. So I'm going to repeat under performance verification on rebuild so enable advanced body checking why do i need this this is a very good example because as a drafter i did my uh, i did my my part and as you can see here there's some little errors okay this geometry technically is not correct for me but the system is not complaining the system is not giving me any errors on nothing but as a drafter, I know there's an error over there. A lot of people that don't know the functionality that I'm uh, showing you, uh, what they'll do is uh, they'll do some cut extrude, they'll cheat, they'll do the little geometry over it to hide it. Uh, so technically speaking, okay, when you have this uh, advanced body checking enabled, for me, just doing a, a rebuild, okay, control Q, rebuild, uh, there you go. Now SolidWorks is taking the long road to evaluate my part, but he's clearly giving me an error. Look, you have a shell error over here and you have a shell error over there. OK, so take another approach, OK, because technically speaking, doing all those functionalities in this order uh, to achieve this uh, little uh, cavity over here uh, was not the correct road. OK, but like I said, since the system didn't complain at first, uh, I would think that it should give me the correct geometry. Uh, but if you enable advanced body checking, you will have this error at least to uh, enable you to change your approach and achieve the same geometry, but with different functionality. So one thing I want to make very, very clear about this, okay? Be very, very careful about this. 
Um, uh, I said earlier that the advanced body checking is the long road for SOLIDWORKS. It's more complex for him to achieve this body checking. Uh, he's actually going to uh, take a look at uh, adjacent faces, a lot more adjacent faces to be able to uh, check the geometry. Don't leave this on all the time. Okay, if uh, you see an error, you, ch you, uh, you check this box to see if SOLIDWORKS uh, is going to be able to do a advanced body checking and actually give you an error saying, look, change your approach because uh, I'm not able to compute this uh, functionality. But be careful, just uncheck this functionality as soon as you're finished, because if you leave that on and you continue working, you're going to slow down your computer because he's going to do an advanced body checking on every part that you will create. So this is not a functionality that you should leave on all the time because you're slowing down your SOLIDWORKS. It's really on a uh, on a need to basis. OK, so that was my tip for the week. I hope you enjoyed and uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you.